What's going on guys, Kid from Sunset Park, and I'm back with another title update 14 video for you guys today, and we're going to be talking about a screenshot that was tweeted out by 4J Studios, uh, I think a week ago, or a couple of days ago, I'm not too sure, uh, but like I said, if you're not following them on Twitter, you are missing out on a lot of amazing uh, title update information, and just some of the screenshots that they're going to be tweeting out when we, uh, as we get closer to the update coming. Um, so definitely follow them. They're a great account to follow. Uh, they keep you very updated and they're very proactive there. So I love following them and they do respond to a lot of questions. So if you have a question about pretty much anything in the game, uh, just feel free to tweet them. But the screenshot that they did tweet out featured two new mechanics to the game. Um, and I'll be doing a video with all the confirmed items, uh, tomorrow. But uh, the image that they tweeted out is going to come up on your screen real soon. You'll be able to see the two mechanics and uh, two new items. So uh, the image right here was tweeted out by them. And the top uh, portion of the picture are the anvil and trading. And the bottom two portions are the dyed leather cap, the golden carrot. And if you look in the corner, the dog has a pink collar. So you will be able to dye the collar of the dogs so you can differentiate between... Um, the amount of dogs that you have, you'll be able to dye them any uh, color dye that's in the game. So that's really awesome. That's basically everything that that's in the PC right there. Uh, the PC does have more stuff, horses and stuff like that. But uh, this is a big update to get us caught up to, um, or get us kind of in motion to where the PC is. This is a lot of big things that the PC has. Uh, so the top two pictures that I did describe, go back and look at them if you want. Um, they were the anvil and trading. Uh, I'm going to talk about the anvil first because it's very, uh, very important. It's going to be a great uh, game feature, and I'll be using the hell out of it because, first of all, uh, if you don't know what the anvil is, it's basically a way to fix tools, name tools, and put enchanted books on tools, and we also will be getting enchanted books. I'll talk about them in the video tomorrow, uh, but... You could basically fix the tool that you want. So say you have an awesome diamond pickaxe. Like I have a couple of amazing uh, diamond pickaxes. And I don't want to lose them. You know, I have efficiency 4. Um, you know, unbreaking 3. And I don't want to lose that pickaxe because that's a great work pickaxe. I could just go to the anvil, put a couple of diamonds in, and it'll cost me some uh, enchantment points. So it'll cost me some XP. So that that's a great way to make sure that your tools that if you have really good tools now you can do this with pickaxes swords i believe you can do this with bows uh you can do this with pretty much all uh craftable tools and armor so that's a great way to make sure that you aren't losing them because if you do get a really badass enchantment you don't just want to lose that uh that set of armor that's that sword that bow and arrow and stuff like that so that's a great way to keep those um in check and everything like that the next thing that I want to talk about is the trading with villagers. In the image, they actually had a villager which looked like to be in a trap, so you can just keep trading with them. And that's the best way to set up trading with a villager. Trading is going to totally um, change the way the game is played. Uh, with trading, you can do so many things. Uh, you can trade for uh, emeralds, which we, we will be getting the emerald ore block. We will be getting the uh, emerald... Um, actual uh, the emerald gem itself as well and uh, the emerald really doesn't do anything besides uh, look cool and you can just kind of show off how many emeralds you have and uh, it's just something that you can trade with villagers and um, everything like that so it's just a cool thing to have there aren't many you don't find many you find them in um, extreme extreme hills uh, biome excuse me and that's where you're that's where you're basically gonna find uh, your uh, your emeralds and your mountains and stuff like that so getting them through trading is a great way to just stock up on emeralds and do what you please with them so those are going to be two big um, new just game changing uh, aspects that are going to be coming in this update I'll definitely be using the hell out of the anvil I'm gonna have a couple I love the anvil playing on the PC it's probably the one of the best things that you can have um, just not losing any of your uh, of your tools that are just really that good because it sucks losing a pickaxe that had um like i said unbreaking three efficiency four or uh anything like that if you had a great sword you know sharpness four knockback everything like that you don't want to lose that tool so it's a great way to keep that in check so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe kids from sunset park i'm out peace